Hi friends, today I am sharing three herbal DIY gifts for Valentine's Day. Thanks so much for being here today. My name is Erin and I am a holistic health coach. And on my channel, I talk about home herbalism for beginners, holistic health, and how to make healthy DIY creations for yourself and your family. And today I'm gonna to talk about three fun herbal gifts that you can make for yourself or for your loved ones for this Valentine's Day or honestly for any holiday. Something I wanna say about Valentine's Day first is that I know it can be like kind of cheesy and kind of a hallmark holiday, but for me, I really love to just take advantage of any opportunity that I can to celebrate life, to celebrate love, to remember to practice self-love and to give beautiful homemade gifts to those that I love. I just find that healthy homemade gifts are the best kind of gifts. So I'm excited that you're here today and let's jump in. So first I'm gonna teach you how to make a beautiful herbal heart. So you're gonna need a couple of different supplies, cardboard, a pencil or a marker, colored string, thread or yarn, plants, herbs, flowers, or any foliage that you can find. So first you're gonna gather whatever fresh foliage you can find, either from your own garden, your yard, or your neighborhood. If those options aren't available to you, you can always purchase like a bouquet of flowers at your local grocery store and use that. Ideally, you wanna look for plants that have a yummy smell like lavender, rosemary, sage, geranium, citronella, or roses. But whatever you have access to will work. So next you're gonna gather your cardboard and I just cut pieces from an Amazon box I had laying around and use your marker or pen to draw out a heart shape in whatever size that you want. And then you're gonna cut it out with your scissors. You can even write a cute little message or intention on the cardboard if you like. Just know that it's not gonna be visible. Now you're going to lay pieces of your cut foliage onto your cardboard heart and begin wrapping it tightly with whatever string you've decided to use. Be aware that you will need a good amount of string for this. I personally used embroidery floss in different colors. You can get it at Michael's or your local craft store for less than a dollar each. And I also used yarn. If you run out of string, just tie the end to another piece and continue on. You can mix it up and use different colors or stick with the same color if you prefer. So just have fun with this part and don't overthink it too much. Let it be messy. At the end, we're gonna trim it up and make sure it looks nice and clean. So once you're done and you like how your heart looks, you're gonna tie off the end of the string somewhere or tuck it under to secure it in place. Trim off any pieces that you like to make sure that it looks more like the shape of a heart. You can also poke a small hole in the top of the heart and wrap another piece of string through there if you'd like to make it a hanging heart. And you're done. So these are beautiful gifts that you can make for yourself to put around your home or give to your loved ones. And if you used fresh herbs like rosemary and lavender, it's gonna smell super yummy. Next, we're going to make a quick infused floral herbal oil. So you will need a couple of supplies for this. First, you'll need a carrier oil that's suitable for topical application like olive, jojoba, avocado, rosehip seed, sesame, almond oil, or fractionated coconut oil. Organic is always best. So next you're gonna use dried organic flowers. So you can use dried rose petals. I do not suggest using the rose petals from the grocery store. Those are not actually meant to be used medicinally. Lavender, chamomile, hibiscus, 
or any other dried flowers that can be used medicinally. So a little trick is if you don't have any dried herbal flowers on hand that you want to use for this oil, you can go to your local grocery store and grab some organic tea and cut the tea bags open and use those. So you can do lavender tea, rose tea, or chamomile tea. Those are three common ones that I know you'll most likely be able to find in tea bags. So just make sure that you are buying organic tea. And then finally, a clean glass dropper bottle or other small glass container. I'm using a two ounce dropper bottle. Add your choice of dried flowers into the bottle. I'm using dried rose petals, lavender, hibiscus, and blue lotus flowers. Add however many you like. Typically I do about a quarter or less of the bottle. Add your essential oils if you want. This step is optional. I'm using two drops of lavender essential oil. Next, add your plain oil or infused oil. I'm using an oil that I've already infused with seven different kinds of flowers. For the sake of simplicity and saving on time, you can just add your plain carrier oil to the bottle and the flowers will infuse into the oil over time. Give the bottle a little shake every day before giving that as a gift and it'll help the flowers start to infuse even more into the oil. And you are done. This oil is beautiful and so gentle. I love using it on my face or anywhere on my body, including cuts, scrapes, burns, bites, and is great for self-pleasure and partner pleasure. So next, our third DIY herbal project is going to be making an herbal bath salt. So you'll need a couple of supplies for this. Find yourself an Epsom salt blend. Again, we need some dried herbs. You could use rose petals, lavender, chamomile, rosemary, sage, calendula. These are a few of the herbs that you can use. And again, if you don't have any of these herbs on hand, you can go to your local grocery store and get some organic tea, cut open the tea bags and use those dried herbs inside. Next, you're gonna need baking soda, which is optional, but it's really great for soothing inflamed skin, detoxification, and it also helps with sore muscles. So I find that it's a really nice addition to herbal bath salts. And then finally, essential oils, which are also optional, but they do enhance the smell, which I find really nice. So you're gonna mix together all the following ingredients. Three cups of your Epsom salt, one half cup of baking soda, one half cup each of your chosen herbs. I typically like to choose two to three. In this blend, I'm using rose, sage, and a little bit of hibiscus. Then you'll add your five to 10 drops of your chosen essential oils and mix everything together. Once everything is mixed, you're just going to add it to a mason jar or a glass container. And then when you're ready to use it, you're gonna add one cup or more to your bathtub. If you wanna avoid a messy bathtub, you can scoop your herbal bath salt into a mesh baggie if you prefer, it's also kind of nice to let the herbs float around the tub, totally up to you. All right, we're done. Those are your three herbal DIY gifts for Valentine's Day or any other day that you want to make something nice for yourself or someone else. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please like and subscribe. I post new videos every week and if you know somebody who you think would enjoy this video, please share it with them. Also, I am over on Instagram at Erin with two N's, so come over and say hello. I would love to meet you and make new friends. And if you do decide to make any of these gifts, I would love to hear about it in the comments. So please let me know and say hello. And if you made it to the end of this video, post a little heart so that I know that you're here. If you do want to learn more with me, like how to make herbal infused oils or get one-on-one -on -one coaching support, check in the description where I will link my website and link to my newsletter, as well as any other offerings that I currently have. Wishing you health and vitality and a beautiful life, celebrating the love that you have for yourself and your loved ones. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you so much for being here. Lots of love and happy Valentine's Day. Okay. Okay, I'm done. Happy love day, Hanu. Happy love day.